Hi, welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 38, Going 3D. You are now entering JIT World. So let's pull up a new patcher here, and uh, there we go. Um, and just uh, get started. We're going to start working in JIT World, so let's just get a JIT World up here. Uh, you can type the letter J, and you'll get JIT dot GL, excuse me, not GL, world. You want the whole world, not just the GL part of it. And then, um, as with some things jitter related, let's name our world. So I'm going to name mine um, Bart. I will probably regret it, but I'm just going to name it Bart anyway. So there you go, Jit World Bart. And you'll notice as soon as I uh, click outside it and make it real, Bart, a window pops up here, which is fabulous. So this is um, very similar to the uh, jitter window that we used to get. It's a floating window, and there are some ways around it, but this is really nice, and we'll get to it very soon. In the meantime, we're going to give, whoops, I'm going to give this another one, uh, an attribute here, which is jit world Bart, and then we're going to say, um, at floating, and you can see it fills in underneath there, one, and then we're going to say at um, auto handle, underline, underscore, uh, excuse me, um, yeah, underscore, oh, I'm seeing it's filling in underneath, but there we go, and also one. Okay, so what that does is it means that uh, BART will always float on top, and as soon as we click outside this, you'll see it happen. And then auto handle, well, let's get BART floating up here. So now BART's always going to stay on top no matter where we click around here. It'll be annoying too, but there he is floating on top. Auto handle, although we can't see it yet, means that I can click inside the window and manipulate the the 3D orientation of things inside it, and that'll be important. So what we do want though is a toggle up on top of this to turn the JIT world on and also to turn it off because when you're running it, of course, you're running a, a rendering engine and when you're rendering stuff, you're just burning up your uh, computer processing power, which when you make mistakes in Jitter, it's, it's good to know that uh, you can turn it off too. <clears throat> so um, we will also need uh, later, uh, let's get an attribute object up there or a truey as we like to call it. So you can just type uh, N for a new object, A-T-T-R-U-I, get in a truey object up there and um, connect it to the, your JIT world you don't need to name yours Bart, by the way. And in fact, please don't. Um, I'm going to make this a little bigger because the one we're going to use is position. So come on down here to uh, position. And we'll need that later because we'll probably need to back out a little bit. So let's just um, stick something simple into here so that we can uh, sort of look at it. So um, let's get a JIT matrix here. We'll just type a J and uh, matrix. We don't need to name it because it's just going to be sitting right here not doing anything extravagant. Um, and uh, we're going to send it a message. Type the letter M and say import movie, no spaces, and then say chilies dot jpg uh, and then put a comma because we're going to send it another instruction um, when you do this with a message it just means you're sending one instruction then the other and the other is bang otherwise we'd have to put a separate thing out there to bang the the movie out so what this is going to do is say import the movie chilies and then bang on this matrix and send. and now we just need a um, uh, something to send it out to. So we're going to type a J again, get a jitter P window. There we go. Hey, P window. And let's just uh, connect all these up. 
and make sure it works so that we know that we've got something over here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Make sure that Chili's has two L's in it, not one. Yeah, okay, here we go. What did I miss? Or does it only have one L? Am I crazy? I think I am crazy. I think Chili's only has one E in it. Okay, you um, spelling bee winners out there, laugh. Go ahead, laugh. There we go. Okay, Chili's with one <clears throat> with one L. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. So we've got our Chili image here in our JIT matrix and then uh, unlocking the patcher again. What we're going to do is um, send it out as a texture with a name. So we'll go ahead and uh, type letter J again, and this time we're going to type GL and texture, dot texture. Very good. And our texture came up, and now we just need to give it a name when we're sending it out. And <laughs> what could be better than, for me than naming it at a uh, name Chili with uh, just one L in the middle? because you have to learn that sooner or later in life. So there we go. So now we are sending this matrix out. We'll have to load it again and send it out, but we'll get to that in a minute. And where are we sending it to? Well, um, in order to put something in 3D, we kind of have to give it a shape. So let's type uh, JIT again uh, dot GL, whoops, I got two dots again, GL dot grid shape. And then we are going to name the grid shape um, BART, like our world, and um, uh, to keep it simple at the beginning, we'll say at shape plane. So it's flat. And um, just uh, some other things to make life easy. We'll say smooth shading. And it pops up nicely for us. Um, we want it at smooth shading 1, even though the default is 0. That turns the smooth shading on. And finally, at texture, can you guess? Anyone? Anyone? That's right, at texture chili. There we go. So now we have a um, this thing making a grid shape. It's named Bart, so that'll send it back to our world, which will be rendering it. And it's smoothly shaded, and the texture is going to be chili as soon as we send it to it. So let's uh, go ahead and try that out and see if it works. It probably won't. Let's not get our hopes up. So we're going to turn the JIT world on. It has a plane. The grid shape is there. This is a giveaway that the grid shape is actually working. And if you click on it and pull to one side, can is it working? Is it working? We're so close to it that it's hard to... There we go. You see that? So there's our grid in 3D. Fabulous. Um, now, that's the reason I actually put the position thing up here. You might want to go over to the third one of these and go negative a little bit. It's not always good to go negative, but sometimes when you want to look at something, it's nice to go negative. OK, there you go. So look, we can wiggle our world all around. Oops, it's, it's uh, getting a little sideways there. It, don't keep doing the same things, and you'll discover if you kind of click on these toggles, you can kind of work it around back to where you want it. But let's do the ex the import blah, 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 blah. the exciting thing and re-import chilies again. And look at that! It imported into the matrix. The matrix banged it out as the name chili. The grid shape, which is connected to Bart, our world, is using the texture chili. And now we can move it around. Holy Moses, that is exciting. So um, 
so let's get um, our uh, attribute objects up here. Uh, new, whoops, unlock your patcher, type it in, attributes, a truey, there we go. Make two of them, option click on that. You can hold the shift key down at this point and connect it to both of them. And <clears throat> For this top one, let's stretch it out and say, well, let's let's make them both uh, full size here. There we go. And uh, let's click on this one and say, shape. You just got to scroll down there. Um, great. I can scroll down to shape, but it's not doing its double column thing. So I'm clicking on shape. If you can't scroll down and see it. And as you can see, it says plane, because that's what we picked. Now, if you go down here, you can say sphere. Ooh, look at that. Yep. You can now have your chili peppers projected onto a sphere. That is some level of excitement there. Okay. So on our second uh, attribute here, whoops, somehow, there we go. Um, we can scroll down again. Oh, maybe I can do it this way. Nope, I just, yeah, lighting enable. So this turns on the global um, lighting attribute for this. Uh, well, it doesn't turn it on. It allows us to turn it on. So here it is. And then if you click lighting enable, you get the... Uh, light this is sort of default lighting over here and we may learn to control the lighting later and then a shadow so it shadows it just like it was uh, a little planet of peppers with a sun somewhere back behind our right shoulder so is that exciting or what now many of you were probably just looking at this and saying oh my god how can you resist trying another shape like a you know a Taurus you know, I should have named this the uh, Homer, the <laughs> planet Homer, not planet, world Homer, but Bart was close enough. So there it is. There's our chili peppers uh, projected onto a donut-shaped world. And uh, you can uh, go through here and see the various things. I'm going to turn off the lighting enable just so we can see it brighter. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Nice, right? You can just look around at your peppers as a cylinder. Anyway, that's it. That is how to put things into the 3D world done in a mere 13 minutes and 11 seconds. A new world record. So I will get back to putting movies into the 3D world in just the very next awkwardly misstated video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you momentarily in the next video.